Back in Ward 13, we have things that we can craft. What now? I still don't remember your name, and I still don't like you. All right, then. Curse of the Jungle God launches a projectile, projectile, easy for me to say, which summons a tentacle. Tentacle deals 75 shock damage. Steal 4.5% of the hero's max health per hit, and apply the overloaded effect, and it lasts 30 seconds. Well, that sounds kind of cool and like it might be something to use on a boss. Curious what the rest of the gun is. I mean, it's a pistol, obviously, but I don't know. Do we want to burn seven Lumini crystals for that? The Zephyr's Conduit we got from something shoots an arcing fireball that deals 25 fire damage and ignites enemies with the burning effect within two meters, dealing 300 fire damage over 10 seconds. Wah, wah. And then Storm Caller using the Storm Crystal, which I really don't remember getting that, conjures an electrical storm centered around the caster, which discharges lightning strikes that deal 40 shock damage to nearby enemies within 35 meters and reduces incoming damage by, by 50% last 12 seconds. You. you go do your work. Oh, Little Trevor. Miss uh, doesn't like anyone else. What do you, need? you, sir, are much more polite than she is, and uh, I'm, I don't dislike you. We're going to upgrade guns, because apparently I'd rather upgrade the ones we're using than, than not, I guess. I don't know. Galvanized iron is all we need to upgrade the pistol, and then why haven't I done this already? I mean, seriously. Do more damage. We use the crap out of the pistol, so... Do it. All right, so we have basically maximized our weapons there. Um, can we buy anything from you? That doesn't allow a melee mod, so I still don't know what the point of those... That one th trait thing we got is, because... If we can't use a melee mod, then who cares? I don't, I don't even know. I'm not, not sure. Kind of debating here. Do we throw a few more upgrade points onto the armor, I guess? I guess. So here, we'll do that one. We'll do one for you, one for you. And then we'll do uh, this guy here. And we're basically out of galvanized iron. I mean, I guess technically we can upgrade something else, but I would kind of like to play with some of these weapons a little more. Like the hive cannon wasn't bad. But at this point, I kind of feel like I'm just committed to... Uh, the weapons we have at the moment. The Wastelander Flail. I don't see... Yeah, I still don't know how... How this is supposed to work that we can do a, a melee mod, but... Let's not think too hard about it. What does that leave for materials? Twelve of those guys? We could upgrade our Dragon Heart thing, but really, we've got six of them. I don't know that it matters. I'll just sit on the rest of the upgrades for now. Or the rest of the materials for now. We need to find some sort of a mirror, which I'm going to guess is going to be down here. At some point, we kind of found this area. I think it was early on, and we couldn't go over here. At least I think it was over here. I'm not entirely sure. I'll go ahead and try this thing here. Um, Founder's key? That one. Key card. How about this? There we go. So this is going to open up a new area for us where we can get a... Uh, hi. No, I wanted to pick up the Tome of Knowledge. Thanks. Okay, um, system diagnostic, testing uplink, blah blah blah, electronic mail. Okay, due to recent events, we will be amending our security protocol to require an additional photo ID check upon entry to Ward 13. Entry will still require use of personal security cards. However, an additional ID check will be performed upon entry to the Ward. All security officers have been notified of the change. The new protocol will take effect immediately. Commander Nathan Haskell. Okay. I'm just going to say let's keep on going down here because we're supposed to do something that involved the computer and I'm going to say we did it. You? Um. Oh, I don't... I'll be honest, I don't care. I really don't. I have no interest in reading those things. I'm sorry. If you're holding out for that. Sorry. Ooh, experience gain. Okay. I don't really feel like sitting around listening to the 
elders make noise, I guess. Some sort of eldritch monster. We've got a fuse. What are we supposed to do with a fuse? You are a quest item, apparently. Okay. So clearly we're going to have to restore power to something at some point using the fuse. That seems very obvious. And we cannot interact with this, so I'm going to say that there's no reason to stay in that room. Nope. Again, I genuinely don't care enough to read any more about the story. If you're not going to open the door for me or whatever it is we need to do, then, uh... Nope. Doesn't matter to me. Hello. How you doing? Can't see anything about you. Just your feet. Okay. Nice TV there. This Clearly this ward has been around for some time based on the various technology in here. Um... That one? I mean, none of these are going to work because we need a, a proper key for it. Okay. So clearly I have missed something, and now I must run around until I figure out what I've missed. Okay. Guessing the fuse goes here. This is a little f deeper into the basement. I'm just kind of assuming I didn't miss anything. And that I really just needed to keep going downstairs or something. I don't know where I was, but some sort of area where clearly we need some other key or something to get into it, so not going to overthink it. I'll just keep wandering around in this general area. Let's go out here first, just because this looks interesting. Big old crazy wires, conduits, whatever, running around the place. That's a thing. So this takes us up to thermal control, which it looks like is uh, pretty small, comparatively. I don't see any interactables over here. Honestly, didn't even pay attention to whatever that was that was just picked up. Genuinely didn't. I just hit the button and was looking around. I'm sure someone will tell me what it was, if it was important, if it was not just a plain Jane usable like a bandage or something, because I assume that's what it was. Ammo box, okay. Looks like there's a computer to interact with over there that's going to need a key or something. This looks like a war room right here, all these TVs and phones and things. Okay, I'm going to guess that guy goes in there. Ticka, 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 ticka. Okay. Uh, initialize mirror. That sounds good. And then do a system diagnostic. Okay, it all works. Guessing that's the mirror. Is there anything else to see out here? Before we potentially play with things and break things? Take another Tome of Knowledge. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Okay. Um, I guess, oh, Ward 16, here we go. So I guess that did the trick. Good, and, and stuff. Um, now entering Ward 17, even though it says 16 everywhere. I'm so confused, because I thought it was 17. That's what I had in my brain, but then everything I see says 16, so... I... I... Whatever. I'd just like to find an end to the route. Okay. I guess we still have several bosses to go, lots of large obnoxious maps to go through. All the things, because, you know, why wouldn't we? Stamina is a thing in here, so I'm going to assume that this is an area full of danger 
in intrigue. Promise in destruction. It's very interesting, though. I mean, I, I'm not giving it enough credit. Just the way this place looks in here with all the roots and everything growing around everywhere. All these mushroomy things that are growing out of every wall and every surface. I don't know. That genuinely looks pretty cool. I will say. So, you know, there's that. Got ourselves a checkpoint, so now we will carry on. How you doing? Bet you're alive. Bet you're the dreamer that got hooked up to this, aren't you? Not the root mother, which was what I initially thought. Once again, the children of the core think to change the inevitable. They do not see the truth. The futility of their actions. We bring purity to chaos, serenity to bedlam. All will be consumed. This is necessary and good. The children do not understand. The children believe their lives worth living. The children are wrong. The worlds and the core of the worlds live in pain. Agony. Discord. We bring peace. Equality. Silence. All are one within our embrace. The children resist what cannot be resisted. They fight a battle that cannot be won. Their actions are ultimately irrelevant. No matter how many times they rise, they will be destroyed. Their time is over. Well, aren't you a bundle of sunshine? We will consume all. Says Locutus of Borg. It says this is the final battle. One can only hope it actually is. Because if it's not, I'm going to feel really ripped off here. How you doing? Hi. Nope, 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 that hurt. Nope. Alright, use the thing. Use the thing. Okay, there we go. So this has kind of taken us way, way back to these guys as spawning. Oh, hi, how you doing? In our fight here. Because we haven't seen those guys in quite some time. You just know that once this guy is defeated, there's going to be another form, right? There's no way this is, you know, the one and only battle form. How you doing? Oh, you almost got killed by your friend there. Ooh. Perfect dodge. Sucks to be this guy. Nope, 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 nope. Although I am a little concerned about running out of ammo. Well, speaking of, there's some ammo right there. And we gotta dodge a little here. I imagine if you run, you can just straight up avoid those, no problem. Like you don't even have to dodge them. They're totally fine to do that. Nope, nope, nope. I'm wasting way too much time on his friends here and not enough on him. So let's go ahead and switch guns here. Okay, this is totally not over. Because if it is, that's like the worst boss fight I've ever had in a game for a final boss. There's no way. I thought. So I thought. I'd appreciate it if you would refill my ammo. That'd be great. Okay, 
Okay, we're doing, like, no damage here. Just taking some exploratory shots. And when I say we're doing no damage, I mean literally doing no damage. This isn't doing anything. Um, hello? I guess we need to go toward the light, Carolan. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we need to heal. Let's not mess around. This is doing thousands of damage per hit. And yet, this guy's health bar is barely moving. Okay, we're gonna get... Oh, holy crap, dude. Never mind. I thought we were going to get sucked into whatever that dream world was again. But not so much. Okay. So you are back into protected mode. Which means we probably need to go kill a few things in here, because we need some ammo. Dang it, I wanted more ammo. That was actually super inconvenient. Um, alright. Reload. Okay, he's getting ready to armor up again, I think. Okay, his armor is closed up again. So... Um... Hmm... Here we go. Had I known I was going to need ammo, I would have come prepared. But I didn't. So I didn't. and stuff. I might maybe regret not uh, buying that extra upgrade to be able to, uh, you know, heal. Not sure if you have to do enough damage to, like, burst open the chest cavity or how this works exactly. There we go. Now he's open. Switch. Oh, come on. All right, let's go ahead and use an ammo box right now. Also, go ahead and use one of these guys. Okay. Um, hello. Just go ahead and run, run, run. Run in as fast as I can. Will we ever make it? Ow! I mean, it is technically doing damage. Just not much. It's gonna open up in just a second here. Okay, let's get ready for it. Oh, hi. I thought you were getting ready to open up shop. Crap, I guess I didn't do enough damage or something? Click, 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 click. Here, do the thing. Thanks. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, come on. That range. That range is obscene! It is obscene, 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 obscene! I mean, this is kind of a nightmare. I don't necessarily disagree with that. Oh. 
open up shop, buddy. This is stupid. I don't understand why you're not giving me the, uh, the massive damage option. I don't understand. Go ahead and bust one of these guys again. <laughs> I mean, if I have to do this, I kind of have to be perfect. Which, I mean, I guess technically possible, highly unlikely. I mean, I, I literally, I don't understand what I'm doing differently right now. All right here, just go and use one of these. This fight is very annoying. I'm just gonna say. Since it's not at all clear to me of what I'm doing differently, oh my gosh, that is allowing me to get this guy into a, a mode where, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die, where I can, you know, kill him and stuff. All right, I need to use that. I mean, I was doing a lot of pistol stuff, so I guess there's that. Yeah, I don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. I don't know what I did, but he's available again for, thank goodness. thing I can think of is I was shooting him in the abdomen that time rather than where the body where the guy was being held by in the clutches. So maybe that unlocked him to be for the for the massive damage because otherwise this would have been done a long time ago. So, I guess that's it. We've got a bunch of crap in our inventory. Um, just 
for curiosity's sake, let's go ahead and exit the credits here. I'm going to hang with you while we're in a loading screen because I want to see if it's going to dump us back in the game. Yeah. So I would like to look at the last things we got. We got an orb of undoing. Reset all spent trade points. That sounds awesome. I don't think we got those from the dude. I think we've already had that. And then we got uh, the dreamer's mana. Valuable resource harvested from nightmare that can be used to forge a powerful weapon. The earth was once walled off, not by guardians, but by a power deeper and stronger than the root. The dreamers we created. We thought them windows. They were doors. Hmm. How about that? I believe technically that means we have beaten the main game. There is DLC available for the game. I don't think I have it, and I'm what not inclined now? to buy it if I'm going to be brutally honest. All right, then. But I do want to see what we can make from the Dreamer's Mana. This is some sort of... I don't even know. Rifle, I guess? The weapon mod is Banish. Fires a projectile that banishes enemies into another dimension for four seconds. When they return, they'll take 1.25 times the damage from the rep Repulsor's primary fire for eight seconds. Powerful enemies won't be banished, but will take increased damage from the Repulsor. That sounds lame. I won't lie, that sounds really, really lame. I don't think I have anything that I feel I need to do in this game, so... I believe this is where we wrap up. If I can tidy all of this up into a nice little package and put a bow on it, I would say... I had zero investment whatsoever in the story. Sorry, just being honest. Enjoyed the game from a gameplay standpoint. Had some really good boss fights, had a couple of areas I hated. Liked most of the weapons I used. On the whole, glad I played. If it looks like your kind of game and you have not played it, I do recommend it's worth a play. Just be warned that the story is terrible. Got you another one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.